Hello and welcome back to Wild Thistle Kitchen. Today I'm going to take you along on a very productive day in my kitchen where I'll be cooking a few things, preserving a few things, but during the video I, I will talk about what I'm making, but mainly I want to talk about our experience in the Three Rivers Challenge. We've been participating in this pantry challenge since the beginning of the year, so January 1st, 2024, and we, other than a few fruits, like fresh fruits for our toddler, and for us of course, we have not grocery shopped since then, no major grocery shopping. We've just been eating from our pantries, our refrigerator, our freezer, and I just want to talk about that experience. And first you see here I have all these ripe bananas. We have been making a lot of smoothies. Malcolm really likes them and we do too. My daughter does, our teenage daughter. Um, she's been back into smoothies lately, so I just buy several bunches of bananas. They're so cheap and let them get nice and ripe and then cut them up and freeze them on a sheet tray like this and then transfer them to a big bag. I had purchased some like this from Azure and they were actually, it's actually cheaper to do it the way that I'm doing it instead of buying them from Azure. Then moving on to making some homemade sausage, which brings me to my first, well, I guess my first two points about this pantry challenge, which is saving money, mostly, and also just being more creative in the kitchen. I consider myself a very creative person in general, but especially in the kitchen, I am a recipe developer and a food blogger by trade, and I also just love it. It's, it is my passion, cooking, creating recipes, feeding my friends and family. It's, it is really what drives me. It's what I love to do. But when you know that you can't go grocery shopping, when you've made this commitment, um, it, it really does push the creativity even further. Like, we enjoy breakfast sausage, and it's really easy to buy. We have some decent store brands around here that, you know, aren't full of junk. So it's easy to just buy it, and we do very often buy it. But when I have this, you know, self-imposed restriction I've put on our family of not grocery shopping, I look in the freezer, I see that we have four packs of ground pork from a local farm, and I always have herbs and spices. So I just made some breakfast sausage, and you know, it's simple. It's really not a big deal to do. It takes hardly any time and it makes a nice big bat and it is cheaper. Turning those four packs of ground pork into breakfast sausage saves me money, saves me time because I'm not grocery shopping and I do not miss that. I don't miss, I, I often do delivery. We're lucky to have grocery delivery at, way out here, which is pretty amazing, but I, you know, the holidays, you know, just had passed when we started this pantry challenge and it was such a relief. Really doing this has taken that burden off of me of ordering groceries, seeing the dollar amount each time. And I just, I don't enjoy spending money. And as much as I love cooking, I really don't enjoy grocery shopping. I used to kind of pre pandemic. It was something that I did enjoy doing. And now it's just not something that I really like that much. So it's been nice having a break. But yeah, so cooking up all those sausages um, and we will store them in the refrigerator because we'll go through them in easily in a week, less than a week, probably in like four, four days or so. Those sausages will be gone, but we're going to have some fresh today with some eggs. Other than the creativity and the saving money and time, the next takeaway, I guess, from this pantry challenge has been it really helps us decide what we're going to plant with the goal of preserving. So what we're going to preserve and maybe what we preserved that we didn't really like that much. Well, not really like. I think we like everything, but just what we don't use as much. Um, for example, I... I love growing tomatoes. I will always, if I could only grow one thing, it would be 
a variety of tomatoes um, but I canned a lot of tomato sauce and we just don't really use a lot of tomato sauce so I know I can cut back on that um, but what I do want to do with tomatoes is try to make fire roasted diced tomatoes and preserve those can those um, so if anybody has tried that if you have any tips or if you have a recipe I would love I would love to know because we use a lot of those my husband makes salsa we use it in chili the fire roasted diced tomatoes are definitely something that we use a lot of and I can get really good organic ones from Azure but I would love to to try to make that myself um, and then not just preserving but what we should be keeping in our pantry in case we can't grocery shop or in case you know we do this challenge again which we will I really enjoyed it but like coconut milk obviously we can't grow coconuts here in northeastern Virginia so I want to make sure we have a you know a stash of those of canned coconut milk for curries and different things that we like using canned coconut milk for um, anyway just it, it really helped me realize kind of what was taking up room in the pantry the freezer that shouldn't be and what we could bulk up on so that was another big takeaway from this pantry challenge and then the next point the next takeaway is uh, planning I'm not really a meal planner I can be um, but here, moving on from our breakfast and those sausages, I just cooked them all up. Um, I was making some sourdough discard crackers. This is actually for my blog, and I'll link that recipe below. This was just a little, my basically my work day. I was shooting this, these photos for my blog, and um, these are some really good sourdough discard crackers that I've been making for a while, but I finally decided to add the recipe to my blog wildthistlekitchen.com so I'll link that below but yeah back to the pantry challenge I I am very like there are a lot of nights we don't have dinner planned and I'll just pull something out of the freezer or throw something together but when you're operating on or with fewer ingredients than you're used to having like not as much fresh stuff you kind of, it was it was a challenge. I mean, that's a great term for it because it is a challenge to put together meals with what you already have and having already run out of some things that you're used to having. So that was a big one for me. It got me really organized um, with snacks, with meal prep, even not really meal prep. I'm not a meal prepper, but I I like to have ingredients prepared um, so I would do that a lot more and much more intentionally throughout this challenge and I really have enjoyed it so I'm going to carry that on um, a lot of what I've learned during this challenge I do I know that it will stick with me and we will continue to kind of run our kitchen and our household this way that we have started out the year it's just been a really satisfying process and experience and back to that creativity here I am taking some russet potatoes that were just getting a little shriveled and starting to sprout a little bit and I'm gonna make some homemade gnocchi which is something I have made once a really long time ago and I've been wanting to make because I think Malcolm our 14 month old I think that he will really like them and so I'm just doing a big a double batch of a recipe that I'll link below it's not my recipe and you can see there I had one that was pretty yucky inside so we got rid of that one and yeah I just followed a really simple gnocchi recipe it's it's just like a potato like potato pasta dumpling I guess is how I would describe what it is and I enjoy eating them I just it's not something that I make at home and because I had these potatoes kind of lying around that needed to be used up I decided that I would make some and it was fun it was really fun to make and I'm glad I got to share it here um, 
but yeah, just this almost, it, it takes creativity in the kitchen, this pantry challenge, and it, it amplifies it, I think, because it's, it's like you're on your own private cooking show, like, what am I going to make with these few ingredients? And, you know, potatoes, eggs, salt, some flour, like it's so I used einkorn for these. It's just very satisfying to let the creativity really run wild in the kitchen. And yeah, and now you'll see I make this big batch of gnocchi and freeze it on a sheet tray. And now we have gnocchi. And you know, I still, as I'm recording this voiceover, Malcolm has not tried them yet. Uh, I just hadn't cooked them because we had some other things that we were going through. So I will update you on whether or not the wild little toddler enjoyed these. I, I really think he will. Um, so anyway, on to the next point, which is kind of goes along with the, the planning, the snack and the meal prepping and planning is organization. I felt like I, as much as I enjoy having a stockpile of food, um, I kind of like operating with you know minimal amounts of especially in the refrigerator like for some reason when the refrigerator isn't packed full I feel really good it's like my I wouldn't call myself a minimalist but I I enjoy when things are neat and organized and it's just easier to get in there and clean and find what you need so having a crowded refrigerator it's not one of my favorite things. So it's been nice having it kind of like pared down and only to the essentials. Um, and then that organization, before I even started the pantry challenge, if you missed it, I shared a pantry tour and refrigerator and freezer tour. And before I did that, not just because I knew, you know, you all were going to be looking, it was really just something I wanted to do to start the new year right have everything organized to know what we have in there and that organization just was kind of like the driving force behind all of this like knowing what we have knowing what I can make out of those ingredients very very satisfying and I've just like I said I've really enjoyed this experience and yeah, just working my way through these cute little dumplings. I am cutting them a little smaller than the recipe said, just because they're going to be, well, they're for all of us, but especially for Malcolm. And then on that same note with the organization, I feel like that really carried through, like, physically, mentally, like, health-wise. It just, as I showed at the beginning of this video, like, the kitchen, like, starting out on a day where I know I'm going to be doing a lot of cooking like this, I, I, it's almost essential that I start with a very clean kitchen, like counters cleared, dishes done, like nothing piled up. Um, and that just is how this whole pantry challenge has felt. Like maybe because there isn't as much to work with, it kind of, it almost naturally keeps the kitchen cleaner if that makes sense I don't know like if you've done this challenge and you feel the same way I would love to know but it it's like it has had it's going to have a lasting impact on us for sure because it's just been very mentally satisfying to me especially because I don't like clutter mental or physical clutter <laughs> um, yeah and then here moving on again with the creativity and using up what we have and not letting anything go to waste, which I really try not to do anyway, ever, but it happens in a kitchen, you know. So I, I overbought garlic, I will admit that to myself, and I had some that was starting to sprout and, you know, like the pantry was getting that garlicky smell, so I decided to make a big batch. I've done this before. I make a big batch of a garlic paste, like the kind you can get at the grocery store, which I don't buy. It's just not something I really like the flavor of. Fresh garlic is is always best in my opinion, but I, I like having this homemade garlic paste. Uh, you'll see I just blend it up with um, oil, salt, and a little bit of citric acid to preserve it. 
and I keep it in the fridge for a very long time and we just scoop it out when we need garlic. If you didn't just notice, um, a really fast way to peel a lot of garlic so you don't go crazy is to put it in a, a pot with a lid and just shake it really hard. I had my husband do it because he's stronger than I am. And then here is our first sort of larger grocery haul. I guess this marks the official end of the pantry challenge for us, but these were just some items that we were really missing. Some half and half. My husband and I love coffee and we love half and half in it. Some chicken. We, we have a lot of beef in our freezer, as you might have seen in our tour, and we were missing chicken. So I got some chicken thighs, chicken legs, some organic cauliflower, frozen cauliflower, some riced cauliflower, and some broccoli, some frozen chicken wings. We love this brand. They're organic and flash frozen. There's no like weird ingredients in them. Some dairy products that we were missing, cottage cheese, feta, sour cream, cream cheese, some gruyere, one of my favorite cheeses that I was really missing, some mushrooms, another one of my favorite things. Some lettuce, iceberg lettuce for burgers, little snacking peppers, celery was another big thing that I missed a lot and we will be preserving celery because, man, I missed it during this pantry challenge. Strawberries, cucumbers, a little container of butter and cream cheese, and more cream cheese here. I don't think I meant to get two kinds. That must have been an accident. Ginger was something else I missed. Avocados, onions, some cherry tomatoes, Malcolm loves those, some more pickles, some pasta, and some lemons. And on the day this video comes out, I will be getting an Azure order. So I will definitely share that soon. It's not a huge, huge one, but just a few things that we wanted to stock back up on, things we were missing. Um, and yeah, that is kind of my takeaway from this pantry challenge, those points I made, and I hope you enjoyed this kind of rambling video where I showed you what we were, what I was making this day in my kitchen, and I will be back soon with another video, and with that Azure haul, I will link any of the recipes here in the description box, whether they're mine or someone else's. The garlic paste is not a recipe, I just kind of like made it up. Um, but other than that, yeah, I will link the recipes down below and make sure to check out my previous videos, my pantry tour, previous Azure hauls, and um, some good cooking videos lately. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.